All right, Willie, we've uh, reached the last lesson for this lecture, which really just says a little summary or something that says, why do we need to know these conversions? And this I've been asking myself for a very long time. Why do we need to know these conversions? If we're not even being asked, as far as for the CCNA, CCMP, CCIA, I see no conversions. So why do we need to know? Uh, but hey, we need, you know, it's in the book, like I said earlier. We need to know how to go back and forth. It's fairly easy. When we do a submitting, you need to understand why I'm counting a certain way, why these are four bits, and I separate them that way. That'll be the only reason, like I said earlier as well, uh, it's the programmers. The programmers, for some reason, and the web designers, for some reason, I don't know. I'm not a web designer. I'm not a programmer. So they need to know these conversions and octagonal conversions and all sorts of things that they've asked me questions on. So I. I send them feedback and all that, but as far as the network engineer, uh, Cisco professional, a CCNA, CCNP guy, is going out there working with the routers. I showed you earlier 0x2102, 0x2142, and it's basically just memorizing what these hex numbers or these register settings do. But it's always good to know information. It's good to know. It's very simple. There's no need to have six friggin' boards with. Uh, you know, full of numbers and tables just to figure out some simple conversions. And anyway, when you get to the real world, not the test, remember in the test they don't allow you calculators, papers, you pretty much gotta go in short sandals on a tank top, all right, because they, they don't let you take anything in there with you. Uh, when you go to the real world, you're gonna be using calculators anyway. Everybody uses subnet calculators, hex conversion calculators. It's just for a test, and again, you're not gonna be tested on it. But hey, you go to a party, you go and impress somebody. You go on a dinner date, hey, look what I can do. But if you do do that on a dinner date, and that's the only topic of conversation you have, I'm sorry. But uh, either way, this is an easy stuff to do. Know it. Now you know it. No big deal. Practice it. Play around with it. Uh, and, and when we get to the IPv6, maybe you'll feel more comfortable working in hacks. Other than that, that you really not going to see it on the CCNA exam. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you in the next session.